Pietro from servicewithpurpose.net. What I want to talk about today is Google and why I think Google has awesome customer service. And in fact, I think there are six reasons why Google has awesome customer service. Now, a lot of people bemoan Google and they say, well, Google doesn't have a help desk, Google doesn't have a store, Google doesn't have um, any email address you can write to, there's no customer service manager, there's no way you can get in contact with Google. And a lot of people bemoan that and they say, well, therefore Google has bad service. What I'd like to look at today is why customer service is not always what we think it is. It's not always about the huggy treatment of the customer. It's not always about being on the right on top of them. It's not always about being at every access point you possibly can. It's not always about being happy, smiley and all the rest of it. Customer service is simpler than that. It's matching the customer's needs every single time, as I've alluded to in other posts. So let's have a look at these six things, why Google has awesome customer service. Now the first reason it has awesome service is that it works. Google's product works. So if you're looking for search, you want to search the internet, you go to Google. Why? It works. So from my experience, what do I need? I need something that works, so I go to Google. Very, very simple. So that's number one. Number two, it's focused. Now what I mean by focused is that they focus on that search. They focus on delivering what you need as a customer. They don't focus on anything else. They know that if they do that well enough, there isn't so much reason or call for you to start getting into contact with them and calling them and those types of things. So they stay focused on the search and therefore they don't have the cost of that, let's say the 80% of distraction, which is only going to give them 20% of their revenue or the 80% of the work that they're going to have to give to 20% of their customers, who are probably going to be their customers anyway. So they're very, very focused on the pr delivering their product and doing it every single time. Now keep in mind here that they're delivering a product for free. So we don't give them any money, and yet we're expecting fantastic service, and they still deliver it. The money is inconsequential from our, the purpose of our interaction with Google. Obviously, they're after advertising dollars, but it doesn't impact on the search relationship. Now, number three, it's consistent with their purpose. Their purpose is not do no evil. Their purpose is actually stated as to organize the world's information to make it freely available for all. Now, that is what they do. They live that purpose every single day, and hence they're serving me and giving great service. Number four, there's plenty of help, but it's outsourced. They don't have to necessarily provide all the help, though they do provide some online tutorials and online help. They leave it to the, the world on the internet to provide the help for anyone who needs it. If you need help on setting up a new Google email account, just go to YouTube or just Google do a Google search itself and you'll find plenty of places to get the help. Um, number five, it's simple. Uh, the interaction itself, the search is simple. Now sure there are all sorts of other products out there, but the search itself is a very, very simple operation. It's a very simple product. It's very, very simple delivery so that it gets out to the masses and the maximum number of people can interact and have that great experience. Um, number six, it's consistent. Now what I mean by this is it's it's not, in sometimes the call centers and, and interactions you have with your clients on a one-to-one -one basis are subject to the vagaries of the person who delivers it and they can be inconsistent with what you're trying to deliver. Because they haven't got that perversely, it begets, becomes more consistent because the whole service is being provided by a computer or by robots. Now, I'm not saying that every company has to have this type of service. All I'm saying is that this is another alternative to delivering great service. Great service is not always about, as I said earlier, hugging your customers, treating them well in terms of knowing their name and the dog's name and Auntie Mavis has gone to hospital. It's more than that. It's about delivering, it's about delivering what the customer needs to them every single time. So once again, I'd like you not to confuse a service with all those other add-ons which might be completely appropriate for your brand but keep a focus on other people who are doing it differently once again my name is Stephen DiPietro from servicewithpurpose.net and have an awesome day